Hey, what's going on YouTube? Dad with a bike. And you may think that by the looks of it outside, it being all nice and bright, that it is a wonderful day and I should go for a ride. But no way, oh my God, as you can see, maybe you can't see, I'm in my, my ski jacket because it has dropped significantly here in temperature and the wind is picking up like 30, 40 miles an hour. It's crazy. I had all plans. I had plans to get on the bike today, go for a ride. I was going to go to Dead Man's Hole, go check that out, go hit Marble Falls, go do some barbecue. I had adventures planned. Uh, looks like that's going to have to wait until tomorrow. But the windy weather gives me an opportunity to do a video, talk to you a little bit about everyday carry. I did a video some time ago, and I'll post it somewhere around in here. And that kit has been refreshed, so it's time to do a refresher video. So stick around, and we're talking about everyday carry or EDC on a motorcycle. So as a motorcyclist, my everyday carry comes in two forms. It comes in what I carry on my person and it comes into what I carry on the bike. So first thing we're gonna do is break down what exactly I carry on the bike. Then we're gonna go inside because it's windy and it's cold. And then we're gonna break down my everyday carry on the person that's always on me all the time. So first things first, on the motorcycle, I always have, at a minimum, two bags. Sometimes I have three. So the bags that I've got, I have a handlebar bag up here. This is a Burley brand bag. And then down here, I have the Enns Coyo Paco swing arm bag. And then, more often than not, on my sissy bar, I have some sort of bag because I am off doing stuff or I've got to pack for stuff. I typically do not carry EDC stuff or EDC things inside this bag unless I'm going a little bit further away from home than normal. So what's in the bag? Well, let's take a quick look in here and see what we got. So we'll go ahead and dig in here and we'll open up. I've got gum. I always have gum in my bag. And I always for certain have these two items. That's a belt tension gauge and of course a tire gauge. Earplugs. Uh, my earplugs are from Eargasm, and sometimes I wear them, sometimes I don't, but they're always in. Now, that's in this main pocket. Then this front pocket, I've got a mask, because you just never know these days. Sometimes somebody's like, you can't come in here without a mask. I always carry, this is a bag of fuses. All kinds of fuses, all different sizes of fuses. Fuses, because either if I don't need them, somebody always seems to need fuses, and I've always got them. So, and then I have this tiny, tiny little Gerber. Uh, this Gerber, you know, it's a little knife, it's a little bottle opener, it's got a couple different screwdrivers, and of course is a plier. So good little utility tool that I've got that I always keep on my bike. Every day that stuff is always in this bag. More stuff may go in this bag, but every day those things are in that bag. All right, so now let's talk about what's inside this Paco bag. So we'll pop this guy open real quick. I'll pull it out because it's easier. Pull this out inside here. So this is a very simple, very basic Bike Master tire repair kit. Let's open this thing up real quick. Bam. Now this is a pretty basic tire repair kit. You know, these cost maybe 40, 50 bucks. And this is a kind of a multi-purpose one. I've got a handful of different CO2 cartridges. Uh, it's got a bunch of different things in here for me to repair tires, you know, holes in tires, punctures in tires. Not just for myself, but for anybody else. I have came across motorcyclists that did not have a tire repair kit, and I was able to get them back on the road by fixing a flat. This is a pretty good kit. It's got a bunch of different stuff in it. I'm not gonna pull everything out. Just know that that's the kit. Bike Master, tire repair kit. It's good kit. Talk about this bag. I don't always have it on me, and whenever I do, I always go ahead and just throw in my tool kit. So let's get in here, and we'll take a look at this tool kit. This is a Goatwell. Xfil Zero uh, tool roll. So let's open this guy up and I will show you what I've got in here. Bam. Now I'm a bit more serious about my roadside tool repair kit. You kind of have to create one your own to fit the bike you have, fit the conditions you think you're going to go in. I've kind of created this over just a couple different situations. Enough tools for me, enough tools for somebody else that may be having an issue. And it's came in handy. So, you know, I have a series of, of sockets, other sundries that I need for different bolts on my bike. Screwdriver, ratchet, adjustable wrench, 10 millimeter wrench. Basic just a sundries of wrenches. Then I also carry one of these. They save your ride emergency clutch repair kit. I've only ever had to use one of these once a long time ago, but since then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna always have one on the bike. So I've always got one. Like I said, it may not be for me, it may be for somebody else. Para 550 cord because what veteran doesn't walk around with a pile of para 550 cord in their pocket? Flashlight, zip ties, vice grips. And some people are probably like, why vice grips? Well, I've actually used vice grips as brake lever when uh, my a bike fell over and 
the brake lever broke. In a pinch, this can be a brake or a clutch lever. Then I have good old thread locker, standard and metric Allen wrenches. Again, it's not always just for me. Other people may need them as well. Alrighty y'all, so that's all of my everyday carry that's on the bike. So let's jump inside and I'll tell you what I carry on my person. All right, so we're back in the house. I'm all set up here. I'm gonna walk you through how to carry all my person when I'm on the bike. And I always carry these things. And normally I carry these things whether I'm on the bike or not. Now we'll say this before I flip to it, in case anybody is offended or whatever, there are knives and there's a handgun in my EDC. Fair warning, that way you're not freaking out and you're like, oh my God, I just saw a gun or whatever. Let's take a look at my personal, on my person, everyday carry. Bam, this is it. This is everything that I carry on me, on the bike, all the time. So let's kind of walk through it real quick. Sunglasses, of course. Phone, of course. Wallet, I carry two different types of knives. I carry a Columbia River knife, as well as a small K-bar. And the small K-bar fits in the small of my back. That goes into my pocket. I do have a license to carry, so I do carry firearm, holster, extra magazine, primary magazine that is usually in the gun, but as you can see, the gun is open, so it's safe and we're all safe and everybody's safe. So if you're new to my channel or you haven't seen before, I'm always wearing a motorcycle vest. I am in a motorcycle club. So a lot of this stuff, most of the stuff just fits in that vest, either in pockets, uh, I've got inside pockets for firearms, wallet, whatever else I need to carry is always in that vest. If you're gonna do something like this, we're gonna carry a lot of these things. It's probably good practice to have a vest so that you can put these all these things away properly. They're safe, all that good stuff. All right, so the one thing that I do wanna make sure that I call out, and this is very, very important because I see this all too often. If you are going to everyday carry a weapon, don't care what that weapon is, firearm, knife, whatever, keep it on your person. Don't look for ways to strap it to your bike. You are ultimately responsible for that weapon. You're ultimately responsible for that weapon being secured. And if it falls in the wrong hands, somebody steals it, you're responsible. So remember that. Alrighty, y'all, so hopefully this little uh, tip on everyday carry was helpful. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, help me grow the channel, tell all your friends, tell them to come over and check things out. And if you stuck around to the very end, do me a favor and watch one of these other videos, follow on to some of the other playlists that I've got. Keep on watching and we will see you all later. Y'all be safe.